Our U.S. Senators and Representatives say things need to change at the VA Pittsburgh health care system. They sent a joint letter to the administration with a list of what they want addressed. Chris Hoffman is live in Oakland with a look at what they're asking for. Chris. Ken, that letter sent to leaders of the VA here addresses a few topics. Some of those include retention of workers, service quality, as well as an issue where a veteran committed suicide at one of the facilities in our area last year. Our congressional leaders want to make sure those who serve have the best care possible. The letter's addressed to the VA health care system director, Donald Koenig, who is the sixth person to hold the title in the last five years. The first point the elected leaders are concerned about is staffing. They say positions take, quote, significant time to post, and there are several shortages, including nurses, medical support staff, and housekeeping. The VA says they've increased their employee numbers by 3% in line with the VA national target. We have to make sure that when um, folks come home from serving their country that they have the best possible care. The facility is only one of nine out of 114 systems to get a one-star rating from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Congressional leaders say the VA doesn't have enough vehicles to get veterans to and from appointments as well. The VA says ratings for 25 of the 29 metrics for that report were at or above national averages. And they expect to have almost 30 new vehicles over the next couple of years. I got some skin in the game. That's where I go for my health care. Uh, it's something I think every veteran has earned to have that best quality care possible. The fourth issue addressed is concerns over a veteran suicide at the facility in O'Hara Township last October. Employees told the senators and representatives that the aftermath left room for improvement. According to the VA, they are still extensively reviewing the October incident. That, that can't happen, right? We have to make sure we're not missing any veteran who's coming to the VA for care, who's earned that care, who needs help. And the last issue calls for better communication between the health care system's management, service line leadership, and union leadership. The U.S. leaders say a lack of timely response amplifies their concerns. That's easy to outline challenges, but the changes are more difficult, but I think We've got to be determined to make sure these changes take place. Now, in a statement, the VA says it is their goal to provide world-class care. And, quote, we are reviewing the letter we received this morning and will respond directly to the senators and representatives in writing as soon as we are able. We appreciate the oversight from our congressional representatives, which helps us better serve veterans. And we are always willing to meet with them to discuss these and any other questions they may have. Now, congressional leaders say if the leaders of the VA don't act on what they're asking them to do, they could take some legislative action. They hope it doesn't get to that and want to work with them soon to resolve these issues. Live in Oakland, Chris Hoffman, KDKA-TV News.